So Donald Trump actually uh, attacked a union leader um, by the name of Chuck Jones. He's the union president of the United Steelworkers of, since 1999. So he made an op-ed on the Washington Post. I'll link it down below. And we got some quotes here for you. We're going to break it down a bit. So first of all, quote, over the next several months, my team and I worked tirelessly to keep Carrier in our city. We came up with $23 million in savings, but the Carrier brass said that wasn't enough. They could save $65 million by moving to Mexico. We can imagine that unless we were willing to cut wages to $5 an hour and cut all benefits. All right, so first of all, let's look at it this way, okay? I, I've already made a video on this because we already have seen that the whole propaganda bullshit of him saving jobs was bullshit because not only did he give it tax breaks, but there were jobs that he couldn't save. And now the number has actually been inflated, as we have found out now. So go, you can look back at that video as well. But the point here is that uh, Bernie Sanders wrote an op-ed that has statistics in it that showed that actually uh, Carrier is not losing money and they're actually making billions of dollars of profit. And uh, some of the high-up CEOs got a fucking golden parachute. So the fact that they want $65 million in a deal with the workers to cut their benefits and pay, that's just disgusting. And honestly, it represents the American greed of our country. These dudes are already so well off, but they want more money. All right, next quote. Quote, when I met with carrier officials last Thursday, I realized that that wouldn't be the case. Though Trump said he'd saved 1,100 jobs, he hadn't. Carrier told us that 550 people would get laid off. So he's basically just showing that the number was bullshit. And even with all of his shit, jobs still got shipped overseas and people got laid off in America even though that was one of Trump's biggest if not the biggest talking points in his campaign so uh here's another quote uh quote I was angry too so I told a reporter the truth that Trump's 1100 number was wrong when Trump read my comments he got angry last night he tweeted Chuck Jones who is president of the United Steelworkers 1999 has done a terrible job representing workers no wonder your company's free country. Uh, if United Steelworkers 1999 was any good, they would have kept those jobs in Indiana. Spend more time working, less time talking. R reduce dues. Okay, so first of all, let me just say that again, I would like to reiterate that this motherfucker, the president-elect of the United States, is literally attacking people on Twitter. Twitter! For fuck's sake, dude. Anyways, as embarrassing as that is, uh, let's move on from that, and let's kind of look at what this is. So basically, the guy who ran his campaign on being for the working people and being for Americans is now actually attacking possibly one of the biggest union leaders and one of the biggest fighters to keep American jobs in the country, which again was one of Trump's biggest campaign points, if not the biggest. He's worked the past 30 years trying to keep jobs in America and keep people's jobs here in america keep people with jobs to be able to feed their families and this douchebag is attacking them on twitter this dude is a pampered spoiled brat fuck this motherfucker all right anyways we have another quote here quote now our office is getting phone calls and emails from people who are mad that i called trump on his dishonesty one man left five messages uh, though when i called him back and told him who i was he hung up the phone some people have suggested that trump didn't mean to lie he just got the numbers wrong but I know that's not true. On the campaign trail, Trump made perfectly clear how excellent a negotiator he is. I've negotiated hundreds of contracts. I know that if I'm going to have a fighting chance, I better damn well know, know the numbers. All right, so basically, this dude is honestly better than the media because he actually knows how to call their shit. And also, he has actual experience with it and firsthand experience with it because he sees what's going on. And I really strongly encourage you guys to go and read this article because there's so much more information that you guys can learn and read through. But it just shows that Trump is a fucking lying piece of shit. And also, he will attack anybody, even if it's literally what his campaign talking points represented. And literally what you could call the part of the force that's like the hero of so many American families by keeping their jobs and keeping them working to just let them feed their families.